Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Goalie here. Welcome back to another epic Polytopia video. We're gonna be doing another random multiplayer match. Let's jump right into it. I don't think I've played Illyrion in a little bit. They sound fun. Let's see, we have ruins here, 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 and one in the corner over there. They might have spawned in the north based on that. I don't know. We don't have a lot of great poly push options here. Let's just push this way. Yeah, there's a village. Okay. And I'm going to leave those other two. Uh, we're going to move on to that village and go ahead and pick up forestry. Capture. Good stuff. End our turn. Now, I could build sanctuaries. I think we're going to start with lumber huts. Also, this city is pretty bad, but oh well, I guess. I've not been looking at the ruins either. I don't think any have disappeared yet. Let's just level up our capital and take workshop. Move our warrior and we'll end our turn. Warrior go here. Polytar can go east. Okay, our opponent is Yadek, and they are right there, in fact. We have a mountain ruin here, but we don't have climbing or anything. Let's level up the capital. Not capital. Our second city. Take workshop, and then I'll just train a warrior here, I guess. Okay, our opponent is Yadak, which is not great for us. Hello. I suppose it's better than them being barter, but the whole thing with Illyrian is that, you know, we aggressively outexpand them, but that's Yadak's whole thing as well, and ah, we'll see what happens. So this warrior moved here, which kind of makes me think there's no villages here. I don't know. Otherwise, I'm not too sure what that warrior's doing. I could go climbing and try for the ruin. He would need three units to kick a polytar off of it. So that might not be a bad idea, actually. Climbing is seven stars. It'd leave us with six. Let's go for it. Yeah, there's a city of his. I'm going to put a sanctuary here and call it a day. Well, move the warrior too, I guess. And let's move this warrior as well. I think east is fine. If this guy has like riders ready to bounce into our cities, we are potentially in trouble here. Okay, the warrior dipped, which... You know, maybe there is a village there. I didn't see what tile it moved on to, unfortunately. I wasn't looking. As long as no units bounce into our cities, we are fine. We are golden, even. Which, I mean, it's turn six. We should be okay, I would think. Okay, the fact that he moves his warrior south makes me think he's not gonna bounce in. Unless he has a rider and climbing. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. What's the ruin give us? Population. I will definitely take that. Upgrade stars. Yay. Now, I think this turn we just double sanctuary. Keep the star production going. This guy is going to go for the village over here. And we just train two warriors. Easy stuff. I guess next we go for riding. He might kill our polytar with a rider here. No, he's got another warrior. Does not have climbing. Figures. And yes, there was a village up here. We'll go into that village. Go into that village. Ooh, we're pop-capped in this city. That's not good, actually. Because we need to be training units there. Um, we might take mining. Opens the door for smithery. Illyrian smithery. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. You know what? Let's do it. Mining. Upgrade the city. I'm gonna take an explorer here. Fantastic explorer. Oh, what the heck? What, what's that city doing out there? All right, whatever. This is not good. Just train a warrior. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, Yadak is going to go riding. That's, that's gonna happen. So smithery wouldn't be a bad counter against that, as weird as it sounds. I don't think smithery is the right option. I'm gonna be real. But it's just so different that I want to try it. Like with Smithery, we can even get like an egg in our capital. I mean, we're capturing two cities. Now would be the time to do it. It just doesn't feel right. We'll kill that warrior and kill this one too. Uh, this city's garbage. It's a garbage city. We could wait to capture it, honestly. Like I could capture this one and put down a sanctuary. We need riding. Okay, let's capture this city and we'll take this one as well. I'm going to put down a mine and we'll put a lumber hut here. That'll level up. We take resources. And then we'll just put a sanctuary over here. And then I guess warrior in our capital. Looks good to me. Hello, rider. No, oh, he's going for that ruin. I mean, yeah, not a whole lot I can do about that. I guess we're losing that city as well. He's going to have a giant soon. He is kind of running out of time, though. Obviously, that's good for us. Maybe after he captures the city, cost for smithery will go down and we can take it then. I'm going to put the warrior here. We'll get a polytar. And I'm going to attack this warrior. I should have moved it there and then attacked it. Whatever. Uh, and then we'll take out this fellow over here. And I think if we get a polytar here even, we can apply some good pressure on this city. Train a warrior and we need riders. Carry over a couple stars, end our turn. Honestly, that city wasn't doing a whole lot for us. If we go late game, you know, obviously having more cities is good just because train more units than your opponent. But uh, we're not in the late game yet. We're still in mid game. Smithery is 16 stars now. I think we might take it. This guy does not have a lot of time. He's probably trying to think how to protect this city. You know, not training a unit there, that's fair. We can do some pretty good stuff this turn. 
We'll go ahead and siege, and I'm gonna push our Politar so we can kill his rider. Let's go ahead and move our units like this, protect our Politar a little bit. Warrior can recover. I'll put our warrior on the mountain, get our riders moving. And I guess we're grabbing smithery, which sounds crazy. Okay, we have smithery. I'm gonna train a swordsman here. There's no rider bounce into our capital, right? I think it's fine. If there is, I don't think he'll find it. It's not to say he's a bad player or anything, it's just he's got two minutes. He's more focused on this city over here, which is perfectly fine. The rider's at two out of three kills. Maybe we can do something about that. We'll see what else he does. The way his cities are laid out, maybe I just like go for these two and then beeline for his capital. He probably gets a giant up, but we cut off his road connections if we take this city. That's something to keep in mind. We should get this city. Yeah, these riders don't reach. And he's got farming. Okay, maybe he giant pushes here or something. I don't know. We haven't seen his network monument go down yet, so we might be pocketing that. I could get an egg up. Oh, well, there's Grand Bazaar. Never mind. Is he getting a giant there? Yeah. Honestly, though, we have swordsmen. I'm not too worried about it. If we didn't have swordsmen, I would be. Six swordsmen kill a giant. He has two seconds. I'm just going to use this Politar to get vision. It's dead. Yeah, it's more or less what I was expecting over there. Okay, warrior's going to kill that warrior. We'll have this warrior kill that one. And we'll go ahead and siege this city with our Politar. Swordsmen will go onto the mountain. Should I get an egg up? It costs 10 stars. That's not bad, actually, and it's probably better we get it up sooner rather than later, because, you know, it's got to hatch and do all that. Uh, I might get a swordsman first. Eh, I don't think we need it. Put a forge here. Population growth and egg. Okay, I'll train two swordsmen, one there, and I guess one here. Yeah, and I'll put my Politar there. If he bounces onto that village, we'll kill the rider. Now, with our monument, I think we just put it here and take workshop. Keep the eco rolling. I'll tell you what, I'm looking at this position again. It's not good. I have four cities. That's not enough. That is not enough at all. That is, that is bad, actually. I have four cities. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's four to seven cities right now. We're in a bad spot. I guess we'll get this one, right? Still. Okay, he still doesn't have climbing. What's our next step in tech progression? I don't know if we have a next step right now. I think we need to spam swordsmen. I mean, obviously, knights are always an option. We might need to set up with catapults, but I feel like if we set up for a defensive endgame, we just lose because, you know, four cities. So math is probably not the go-to. Archery could be nice. Helps deal with the giant. We set him up behind the swordsman. It's pretty spicy. Uh, it's going to take a lot to win this game. I've seen comebacks before, so let's put this Politar here. I'm going to move the swordsman behind our sanctuary just because next turn I can move it north and push. I want him to think he's like safe there for a turn when in reality he's not. We'll just move our swordsman towards the city here. Train another swordsman. We did in fact capture this city. We could take Rhodes. Um, I don't think Rhodes does a lot for us here, honestly. In reality, probably what's going to happen here is he's just going to use his giant to take the city back. Although maybe if I train a swordsman and enchant both of these, maybe we can just hold it off. I'll bring our warrior back, move these riders over to... Alrighty, train one more rider. I need to be training units every turn. No questions asked. He's going to road forward and hit our rider. Fair enough. Okay, he had vision on our Politar. Yeah, he's going to get that village. No? Okay. Whoa, he's moving the giant towards our capital? He doesn't win that. Ooh, killer monument. Completely forgot about that. Okay, I think he misplayed by not bringing his giant to this city. I mean, he can siege again all he wants, but I should be okay. Now, if he gets a giant over here, that's bad. <sighs> okay, um... <laughs> Problem with a giant in that city is we only have one city down here. Realistically, we can't have enough units to defend it. Do I just go for a siege on a city here? I mean, does he have the units to knock me off? I mean, we gotta play aggressively. Okay, well, we're keeping this city now, so I can upgrade it all I want. Resources. Um, as for Mr. Giant, we just need to spam swordsmen against it. Realistically, it is not a problem. Now down here, we have some problems. I'm going to enchant a Politar just so this will make another Politar, you know, our sanctuary will. Boys, I'm really struggling here. We still have our killer monument, don't we? I mean, we can get an egg here. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, it's not like he can kill it next turn. Shoot, let's go for it. If we can get some dragons set up, I think we'll be in a not great spot, but at least better. We should be getting a baby dragon this turn. No, next turn. Okay. Jeez, those eggs take so long to grow, man. Yeah, he's getting that village. We can't do anything about that. 
Whoa, he's bringing that giant over here. Oh my goodness. Is that a misplay? Giant is on our doorstep. I think we can kill it. We might have problems with this giant next turn because all of our swordsmen will be weakened. He's going to giant push our swordsmen out of that city, which is honestly better than him killing it because, you know, we still have the swordsmen. In fact, I think it's on two out of three kills. Yeah, depending on where he puts this rider. Eh, okay. I think we'll just move it onto this mountain. He resigned? Huh? Oh my goodness, what? Why do you resign that? Is there something we're missing here in his position? He's at 23 stars per turn. I'm actually making more than him, thanks to sanctuaries. That's interesting. Yeah, he's at six cities. I guess taking that city from him really did a number on him. Instead of seven to four, it was six to five, which isn't, you know, as bad. But I mean, this city is like doing nothing for me down here. I think he definitely made a few mistakes. I think this giant here, it should have just gone next to this city, like on the gate of power or something, to try and take that back from me. I think this giant here just should have gone south to this city. He would have been able to get that from me easily. I just don't have the unit production in the area to do anything about it. What would I do? Pop an egg? Swordsman? Honestly, not bad. Because, you know, obviously he's playing Yadak. He's going to be going rider roads. He's already got roads. Riding is just based. But I mean, when you're only training swordsmen, you're forcing those riders to trade negatively into your swordsmen. You have a three-star unit hitting a five-star unit and getting absolutely walloped. So it's not a good star trade for him. The giants though, yeah, six swordsmen kill a giant, but that's spending 30 stars to take care of a giant. Which I mean, the swordsmen don't die, but they're weakened. He could have even like taken both of these giants and just put them both on like this city here and he probably would have gotten it. Well, at the same time, I can just pump out Politar. So I have two there, uh, another two here. So like I can get the units up there. Down here though, no, I just, there's, there's no counterplay here. What an interesting game. I guess the position wasn't as lopsided as I thought, but I was certainly losing. What did his tech tree look like? Climbing, organization, farming, riding, roads, and hunting. That was a great game, though. This is actually the second multiplayer match I'm recording today. I recorded the first one, but for some reason it had no audio, so I was like, okay, I'll just do it again. Uh, I'm glad I did this game, because this one was certainly better than the other one. And that one, I was playing Yadak and ended up beating a barter player. But this one was just, this was just a good game, you know, it made me think. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button down below, and subscribe for more epic Polytopia gameplay. If you want to support myself and the channel directly, you can become a channel member by hitting the join button down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a spectacular day.